Click the start button and then type reset this PC. And then from the search results select reset this PC. Now you will see the recovery options you have. Under where it says reset this PC, click get started. Alright, in this screen you have the option to keep your files or to remove all of them. Choose either or depending on your situation. And this is it, this is what we've been looking for, the cloud download feature. So what makes the cloud download option so special? Well that's because it installs the latest recovery files from Microsoft itself. The default option, the local reinstall, uses files that are already there. But oftentimes though, what can happen, those recovery files may be corrupted. And so this is why the cloud download feature is so much more effective. It's safer, it's more up to date, and even if the local files are corrupted, it's not based on them, it comes straight from Microsoft servers. So indeed, this will likely fix your problem. Now, if you don't see the cloud download feature, then it means you have to update Windows 10. And doing so is fairly simple. Simply click start, type Windows update, and then from the search results, select Windows update. The second way of fixing this problem is by fixing the recovery environment itself. To do so, simply right click the start button and then choose Windows PowerShell, the one labeled Admin. Alright, now you are going to disable the recovery environment. To do that, simply type the following. And I am going to include that in the video description as well so that you can copy and paste it. But you can also see it in the video. So type this and then hit enter. And now it will tell you this operation has been successful. And to double check to verify if the recovery environment is disabled or enabled, type reagent c slash info and hit enter and that should tell you its current status. And this time we are going to enable the recovery environment. Type this command and then hit enter. Alright, so now go ahead and try to reset your PC to see if it's going to work this time. And if those two solutions did not work for you, the cloud download option and tweaking the recovery environment, you can create a bootable installation USB flash drive for Windows 10. This allows you to reinstall, reset, or repair Windows 10 even if it's not booting at all. And I've made a video about it. Just like this video, it's very simple and straight to the point so your time is not wasted. It's barely 3 minutes. So please go ahead and watch it right now to see how to create a bootable USB to reset your PC. You can find it from the link in the video description.